morning, friends, and welcome to all the new subscribers that are joining in. Uh, welcome to the party, the party of trying to get ourselves a little bit better and uh, take care of ourselves so we can be around for a long time. I want to be here annoying all the trolls for as long as I can, and um, I realize that football season is very stressful if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, and um, it's not easy, <laughs> um, especially when I have all the football parties and the big subs, the pulled pork and the chilies, and oh man, all the stuff that we love. Unfortunately for me, I put on quite a bit of weight, and my blood pressure goes up, and the camera falls down um, during the football season. So I've been going through this cycle <clears throat> for years. I've been getting on keto again after the season, and my weight will go back down to maybe 250, almost around 270, close to it, just a little short of it. And um, last Monday, after the NFC Championship game, um, we went back on keto, and so far, um, my blood pressure was terrible to the point where I needed to take medication for it, like 169 over like 105, which was really, really high. Um, I stopped drinking sodas, doing keto, of course, no sugar, uh, no carbs, well, no more than 20 carbs in a day, um, and went cold turkey on that, so I have not had any fast food in a couple of weeks, haven't had a soda other than uh, soda water um, since I started. Um, I have had three Samoa cookies, though. I will admit that. And I did have some key lime pie on our anniversary. But other than that, I've been doing keto, and it's been working pretty good. Um, almost down six pounds this morning. Um, I don't know if I look any different than the first video. I know I've got this in the middle. For me, all my weight gets in the middle. I've always been a big person. <clears throat> and it's funny because um, my body type, they say I should be 185 pounds. 185 pounds for me, I don't think it's achievable. Not unless I'm dead. See, here's the thing. When I was at JMU and was running track and trying to become a decathlete. I could run the cross country course three miles in 18 minutes. I know it's hard to believe when you look at my fat ass now, but yeah, um, I was strong. I was cut. I think I only had 6% body fat at that time. And I was at 195 pounds. They wanted me to get to 190. I could not get to that 190 no matter what I did. I starved myself. I, I mean, we ran miles upon miles upon miles every day. Could not get there. So that scale doesn't quite work for the body frame and mass that I have. I mean, we're talking about um, 80 pounds. 80 pounds. That's a person. I don't know that there's another person in here that can come off. But... Be that as it may, 264 is too much. It just is. If I can get myself back down, uh, <clears throat> kind of my, my better weight is actually around 256 is where I used to just kind of bobble around years ago. Just around 255, 256. Um, I've gotten down as low as 240. 240, I look actually, I think, pretty good. Um, we'll see if I can get back down to 240. The big problem is, is it's not a problem for me, especially when the weather starts getting warm up and I start doing more and more projects outside in the heat. <clears throat> You'll sweat out a lot of that. I'll get a lot more physically, um, physical work in, which will also help too. Uh, me and my wife are actually beginning to do uh, walks. The thing is, it's just been so cold and so much snow lately. It's been hard to get those in. We're going to try and get one in at 10 o'clock today. We're trying to put that on the schedule of a daily walk at 10 a.m. <clears throat> to try and help, you know, help get a little exercise in there, get the blood flowing, 
and get everything in pace. Um, today is Tuesday, which is my fast day. So, no sugar, or no keto coffee creamer. And you want to fast for 16 hours. So, the last thing I ate was like, uh, I think a piece of cheese about 11 o'clock last night. So, that means I've got six hours before I can start eating. And what are we going to cook tonight? Hmm. I cooked the tacos thinking my wife said that she wasn't doing beef, but she ate some of the beef, and then Michael ate some of the beef, and so I don't think there's enough beef for me to make any more taco salads tonight. So, what are we going to have for dinner tonight? I have some zucchini in here. Um, I've done stuffed shells, like with zucchini, where you slice it real thin. But I don't think I have any ricotta cheese or parma or mozzarella cheese, so I'd have to go to the store for that. I may just do a shrimp bowl. I may just take out some shrimp and do like a shrimp salad bowl, because um, we've got the picante sauce from yesterday. We've got avocados in there. We've got sour cream, so we have everything we need for that one, and shrimp were on sale this week, so we bought a shitload of those, and I've got plenty in the freezer. So, we'll try that one, make it nice and spicy. In the meantime, say hello to my black coffee. Thanks for joining in. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or you want to tell us your starting point or motivation or anything like that, please leave a comment below. I definitely go through and try to answer each and every one of them. So... Here's to living healthier. That's so hot. It's cooler when you put coffee cream in there. Bye.